What does um, Isaiah 44, 24 say in yours? Let's see if I can get it to work on this one. Isaiah 44 and 24? Yeah. Okay, so it says, this is what Jehovah says. Your repurchaser, the one who, sorry, who formed you since you were in the womb. I am Jehovah, who made everything. I stretched out the heavens by myself, and I spread out the earth. Who was with me? Okay, so who created by himself? Well, it's Jehovah is the source of. Let me just. Like Jehovah is the source of all. Like he. Is right. He the, he alone created. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we agree with that. Mm -hmm. Like Jehovah often says in the scriptures, like there's no other except like he is he's the only he's god the only. yeah right yeah that's very definitive isn't it it, it is yeah, yeah. so, so he then is, he alone created right but, but so jesus also said that him and the father are they're, they're not one like they're they're not they're not one entity like he's jesus is he said i and the father are one but that's which is not even the point of what we're talking no. about here either but yeah um, he, he one yeah. unity because his disciples were also sure. one Absolutely, yeah. Um, but uh, I've never seen him say, I and the Father are not one. Are not one. Yeah. Well, he's like the Father is greater than I am. Sure, yeah. yeah. They're distinct persons, we yeah. agree. Right, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so like, I, I'm just trying to understand what you're trying to say that you, you, yeah. is, is, is yeah. what you're, yeah. Like, well, yeah, okay, so what I'm looking at with, um, with what we're looking at in Colossians, mm -hmm. Jesus created all things, and then you've got the word other added in there that isn't in the actual Greek text. It's like an assumption they're putting in. And then John 1, 3 would back up that the word other is not there, right? And then when we look at that Jehovah alone created all things, then you have a contradiction there. If you want to say that Jesus alone created all things or Jesus and the Father created all things, but you don't believe that they're one being. Um, you know what I mean? Like there seems to be sort of a disconnect there. So are you, believe, are you saying that they are one being? Because I'm... Because there is... No, there's two distinct persons. Two yeah. distinct persons. Yes. Yeah. Distinct persons, one being. So, one like, being. you're a human being, I'm a human being. You are a person, I am a person. Yeah. God is one. There's only right. one true God, right. Right? right? And he is three distinct persons, which is different than us. You know, we are, we're other than him. He is other than us in that sense. Like, we, we don't have anything on earth we could compare that to because he's above all of that. Like, so. his nature is displayed in two, three distinct persons. Yeah. yeah. He makes himself known in three distinct persons. Yeah. So that's, so that's the see. answer to why you see all of these these things. Like you have Jesus alone creating, Jehovah alone creating, you know, let us make man in our image. You mentioned that one before. You know, there's there's all these examples, and that's where the Trinity doctrine comes from. Sorry, I didn't want to bring that up. That's a whole other thing. But um, is that it's drawing from the Bible. It's not trying to feed it into it. It's we're where it's the, the answer. That's yeah. All, that's all we were interested in. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, So that's just why we're asking, like, about these verses. They don't seem to, like, they're making claims here, and then they don't seem to have verses that really back up their claims. And I guess that's why um, I was wondering, like, how you feel about that if they're not really answering that question. Not, not clear. Yeah. Just from reading other verses in the Bible, like, do they, if they disagree with each other, and I, I don't think they do. Well, you know, the like, Jesus... Je you know, throughout the scriptures, Jesus always, you know, gave Jehovah a superior position. Like, sure, yeah, because he took on flesh, he, he limited yeah. himself, right? So, of course, the and the father, you're talking about a father-son relationship, so they're both equal in essence, but they have different roles, but and the father's role... That, that's the question there, yeah. right? That's what I see in the Bible, that they are equal in essence. And he actually lowered himself from that essence to take on flesh, to come here and walk as a man. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. that's a that's a huge thing and so then when we see that that's why he's praying to the father we have you know all these examples they are two different persons and jesus lowered himself to come to earth to walk as a man he limited himself in all kinds of incredible ways and so of course you know the father is in the greater position the father is 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 in authority over him you know there's all of that totally makes sense as far as like what i see in the bible anyway so yeah you know and i think that we can see that even like throughout you know the letter the book of john the gospel we see him making distinction to make sure that you don't confuse jesus with the father and say jesus is the father no he's not so he makes those distinctions over and over again in the way that he describes jesus okay yeah so um <clears throat> Okay, so why don't we read John? Um, John fourteen twenty eight. Fourteen. So you heard me say to you, I am going away, and I will come to you. If you loved me. You would have rejoiced. You would have rejoiced because I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. Yeah. So what's the context there? They're they're sad that he's leaving, right? right. He's told right. them, and so he's saying, "Don't be sad. This is better." Yeah. He's right. So he's not saying the Father is a much better person than I am. He's saying I'm going to be with him. That's the greater. You know. That's 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 what I'm seeing in the context of how. Like, I don't think it would have um, comforted them to hear, oh, by the way, did you know the Father's better than I am? You know what I mean? Like, they already, you know, that no, wasn't a but, problem. But, but but he always gave the glory to his Father. Absolutely, he yeah. Never, but he's he comforting took, them here. So that, yeah, that would be the, also, the context. He also acknowledged that the Father is greater than him, and he's going to his Father, where he was. Yeah, he's going. He's alongside, going to be in that in that in the presence of the Father. Yeah. 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 So that that doesn't that doesn't speak to value of you know what I mean? Like that's a different context. That's all I'm saying. It's it's a. It's I a I glory, like yeah. I I don't know. I, yeah. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> um. Um. So. Okay. So let's read Matthew three verse sixteen. And this is Jehovah speaking. And Jehovah only speaks directly a few times because Jesus is the word his spokesman but um, this is Jehovah speaking when Jesus was getting baptized mm -hmm. do you read that one? Mm -hmm. um, when he had been baptized Jesus came up immediately from the water and behold the heavens were open to him and he saw the Holy, uh, the spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him and then uh, oh. and suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, "This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased." Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So, does he say, "This is me"? No, we're not saying the son no. is the father. We no. don't. We don't believe that. Nobody. No. I don't know anyone who believes that. Actually, that's okay. yeah. yeah. So they're father and son. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. She's trying so hard here to present a straw man argument that Watchtower has taught her. She wants to suggest that we think Jesus is the Father so that she can shoot that down. The problem is that we don't believe that and no Trinitarian ever has. I've heard them try this also by asking who Jesus was praying to in the garden. They really think that they've got some kind of golden argument here that no Christian has ever considered. But the reality that the organization is giving them inaccurate information about us does not occur to them. I can only guess that when this falsehood does get exposed, they probably just assume the person setting them straight is just a rare or even one time kind of situation so that they never have to really deal with the issue. You heard me use the word Trinity a little earlier in the conversation. I hadn't meant to do that because the word itself automatically brings them to focus on the straw man teachings of the org instead of actually dealing with the doctrine itself. But we knew it may have to come up in a conversation like this, so we did our best to work with it. Next we get into the issue of Thomas 
calling Jesus literally the Lord of me and the God of me. I think she was a little more prepared for that one because she had the Watchtower's twist on that ready to read for us very quickly. Okay, so what I'm, about, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, the, the Trinity is, anyway, so, um, so you, okay, so, like, you, so you do believe in the Trinity? Right? Well, we believe what the Bible says, yeah. so, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's, like, I don't need to use the word Trinity, that's uh-huh. just, it's just a yeah. word, you know, it's yeah. just a definition, you know, that's what we want to look into is what does the Bible teach. Yeah. So, like, John, John 20, I was wondering what, what your organization teaches about that, um, Sorry, John 1 20? No, John John chapter 20. I'm just looking for the verse here. What verse? Um, like 27 and some 27 to 29. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you've been asked about that one before, so I'm yeah, I'm curious what your organization says. So what does yours say? Yeah. Um, so, uh, did you want what... Do you want to read 27 to 29? I'm curious what your translation yeah, yeah. says. Next he said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands, and take your hand and stick it into my side and stop doubting, but believe. In answer, Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God, Jesus said to him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Lord of me and the God of me, yeah. Yeah, Hothios of me. Some scholars view this expression as an exclamation of astonishment spoken by Jesus, but actually directed to God, his Father. Others claim that the original Greek requires that the words be viewed as being directed to Jesus. Even if this is so, the intent of the expression, my Lord and my God, is best understood in the context of the rest of the inspired scriptures. Since the record shows that Jesus had previously sent his disciples the message, I am ascending to the Father and your Father and to my God and your God, there is no reason to believe that Thomas thought that Jesus was the Almighty God. Um, So that was the organization's understanding of what they believe? Well, no, because Thomas um, had earlier said that, um, believe, like, said that, um, that Jesus is going to the Father and his God. Um, Mm -hmm. So he had, he had made that exclamation before, but here it's just going on to say that, um, uh, We have to put it into the context of the rest of the scriptures. Um, Thomas had heard Jesus pray to his father, calling him the only true God. So Thomas may have addressed Jesus as my God for the following reasons. He viewed Jesus as being a God, though not the almighty God. Um, Or he may have addressed Jesus in a manner similar to the way that servants of God addressed um, angelic messengers of Jehovah as recorded in the Hebrew scriptures. Thomas would have been familiar with accounts in which individuals or at times the Bible writer of the account responded to or spoke of angelic messenger as though he were Jehovah God. Um, yeah, th- therefore Thomas may have called Jesus my God in the sense of acknowledging Jesus as the representative or the spokesman of the true God. There, there's a lot more information, but... Um, so speculation and, and possible... No, but like... Because yeah. like literally it says, he says to Jesus, my Lord and my God. I know, but right? you're taking so. one scripture because Jesus so often said my God. Like the, the thing is, like we can go we're, to... Um, but we're not, the thing is... The Father being God doesn't deny what Thomas said here. Like we don't disagree with. No, yeah, I understand. I understand yeah. that, but we can um, also go to um, how the scriptures also refer to humans at times as. as sure, uh, let's God. go there. Yeah. Um, You're thinking of a, a psalm, I think. Was it? Um, Yeah. 
Oh, or, oh, so I'm 82 versus 82, there. yeah. Is that the one you were thinking? Uh, well, we can go there. Because you're, right, you're right that the Bible does talk about um, other gods, as in like like demons or um, hand handmade idols and stuff idols. like that. Yeah. Okay. Um. I think it's right in the beginning of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you you, you can read that if you like. Did you want to read that one? Yep, that says, uh, God stands in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Yep. Yeah, so it's, you know, like, there's other terms where God, even in, in verse 82, verse 1, um, the judges, like, so judges. Yeah, so this will, is about will, the judges, yeah. Will refer to as, as gods as well. Yeah, um, but they're, are they true gods or are they? No, but okay. they were they were gods in the, in the capacity that they were um, representatives of Jehovah. Like they were spokesmen. represented, yeah, they were wicked. <laughs> yeah, this is or, or chastising. Spokesmen, but but yeah. also, um, yeah, but but also um, Moses um, was also told to serve as a god in in, um, in the presence of Pharaoh, like as a, as his representative. Did they call him God? Um, well, um, let's go to... Like, did the people that followed Moses, did they ever call him God? The people? Yeah. Well, the pe that, that's a whole other story, but the people, the people, um, when he left, they they started building cast images and went wayward, but that's, that's a whole other yeah, story. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I'm just talking about, like, actually calling Jesus God, or calling Moses God, or calling any anyone God. So, why don't we go to Exodus 4, verse 16, and this is referring to, um, Moses when um, yeah so that's a representative right right yeah so that's not what Thomas is talking about though is it Pardon? Thomas wasn't talking about that. He was making an exclamation, a praise item, like right. the God of me, the Lord of me, and the God of me. And Jesus says, "You are blessed for that." But let's go to Jesus' words, because don't yeah. wouldn't you mm -hmm. think that Jesus' words weighs a, a huge significance? Absolutely. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. he blesses him for that. So yeah. Um, okay, so. John 20 verse 17. That's one scripture where we can look at. This is Jesus' words. So Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Yeah. So that that has weight too. If you were to take one scripture and say, what does that mean? Would like, what is right? Jesus Absolutely. Really well, yeah. when, when Jesus took on flesh, would he have been? Would we assume that he might have been an atheist and not had a god? Like, of course he had a god, right? <laughs> so of course yeah. he would say, "Your god and my god." Yeah. Like I don't, I don't see any way that he would say. I'm sending to my father. Yes. And father. Father. Yeah. 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 Exactly. The father. Yeah. yeah. Father God. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like I, I think that's part of like I understand the Watchtower assumes 
Arianism or Unitarianism, that kind of thing. So if you do that, then you have to give all those explanations as opposed to what the text actually says, right? That's where, um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's, 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 I appreciate you taking the time yeah. to, you know, yeah. try to explain these things. I'm just still puzzled by where they come from with that. But Jesus had made it very clear that, you know, he's not doing his own will, he's doing right. his Father's will. Absolutely, yeah. The They're two distinct persons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we totally agree with all that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but I'm just so confused with, like, <laughs> <laughs> where, like, where, yeah. like, the understanding yeah of like where well, he's, he's all like like you say in john 1 3 he's he's always existed because he was he, he's everything that's been created was created by him and yeah him. yeah so i don't so you don't think that okay so you don't think that jesus was created was created because i mean that's where i'm reading and no i don't see it in there yeah yeah i don't see that in there and so i'm seeing him existing always with the father yeah and um and in the like in and it you know how it just you know says that they were in the beginning creating co-equal but yeah they were doing it together mm -hmm. they were the same essence yeah yeah like, yeah they That's had why he's the exact representation because he has the same essence as the father so. yeah not the same person as the father they're distinct they have distinct rules but um, they're all part of the godhead yeah mm -hmm. that's why we have jehovah alone by himself created all things and we can also see that jesus created all things because they were co-equal working yeah. together okay why don't we yeah. watch this video and see if we can we can glean anything from here at this point i think she felt like she was failing completely at using proof texting to defend watchtower teaching so instead of staying with the specific verses we were examining she jumped over to the video to try and get us back on track on the publication instead of what the Bible says. That's where we'll pick up next time.